it's time for a sewing update. Hello collaborators, I'm Michelle. We're here in the Fabricatorium and I wanted to give you a sewing update. First, I am sad but relieved to report that I have taken the Mountain Fay Elemental costume. I made the tough love decision to pack it away. It is in a Tupperware bin underneath the cutting table. Right now, my focus, excitement, and passion is my design education and learning, at this point, the pattern drafting. And I was not spending any time working on the Mountain Fay costume. Meanwhile, it was taking up a whole lot of room and reproaching me with how I was not working on it. Technically, it still holds a place on the now list. So my now list really is pattern drafting and one personal project, which has been a really great evolution for me to get from having 20,000 works in progress to the reality. You can only work on one at a time. So that is my personal sewing update. With the class, I am on self-designed skirt number one. I've really enjoyed wearing the men's utility work pants that I discovered because of the pockets. They have two patch pockets with pleats on the thighs and they have deep pockets, bag pockets on the hips. My optimistic framing of self-designed skirt number one, the drop front utility culotte, is that I made the right design decisions. I am challenging myself. Last week, the plan was that I would make the final muslin. It brought home to me how much of my sewing these past decades have been making things work while fussing with them at the sewing machine. The point is not to make a fabulous utility culotte. The point is to make a pattern for so that anyone with this pattern can make a fabulous drop front utility culotte. And oh my god, the brain power it takes to figure out the right order of operations for a garment as complicated for me anyway as this is. My muslin mostly assembled, but I ran into the problem with the lining and the fall front, I didn't account for how the lining is supposed to go behind <laughs> the pocket, not in front of the pocket. This corner I painted myself in by using the Peter Sham. This one is somewhat tamed, kind of, you can get an idea what I was going for. This one is just completely mad. There's not enough space to, in the back, to accommodate all of the pieces. I didn't sew it. Ugh, just horrors. And there's our sewing update. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.